black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what up, y'all? I was just recording a subscriber sponsored request video when tragedy struck and i had to scrap the video i'll have to shoot it another day but i've been slack and it's been like a week since i've uploaded i think or like five six days just busy life is busy right now and then i was making a video and i'm gonna have to redo it another day so i'm hungry and i haven't eaten and i'm it's just hot i'm kind of was just exhausted with the process and i was like i'm not gonna restart a whole new other thing so now we're going to Tim Hortons because for some reason I was looking through the skip uh, skip the dishes app and I was just like going through and I clicked into Tim's for some reason and then I was like I could eat some donuts right now for some reason or and like a sweet cold drink and so there's a few things I want to try and then I also want to get a couple like hot things too like a, I want a sandwich maybe some chili for some reason you guys know how i take you up to the nice area like of the city and look out on the lake and stuff where it's real nice i'll take you to my neighborhood lookout after this where we'll eat this it's not quite the same but it's decent <laughs> we've locked in the goods onward to my beautiful lookout let's go check it out all right here we go thunder bay rowing club coming right up it's a little nicer now that it's summer. In the winter, it's definitely very more sketchy. But here we go under a sketchy, rusty bridge with very bad potholes, usually. It's definitely not as bad in the summer because I feel like they flex in the winter. They get much deeper, but uh, yeah. Sketchy bridge, wouldn't walk under it at night, tell you that. And then we come over here to the Cam River. More of a flat, chill, a little more of the grittier side of town, but it's actually still pretty nice. I, I'm just playing when I say that it's not, not that nice. It's actually, it's actually a pretty nice place to come post up and chill if you're just vibing for a minute. We got the train here on the left, the Via train. I'll take you for the full loop and then we'll eat. It's a pretty good place to come, yeah, like walk your dog or just sit out, kind of take in some nature a little bit. Look at this tugboat. You can actually go like hang out and look at this tugboat if you want to get out and have a look at it. It's totally possible. And I think right here might be okay. Parker right here. Under the tree, under the tree. Spin you all around. Drop the AC to very low, but still max. We just turn it off. Yeah, we'll just turn it off for now. It might get a little hot in here, but who cares? That's what summer's for, right? That's what summer's for. So bring y'all down for closer inspection. We got the chocolate glaze. We got the maple. We got the cheesecake. We got the drinks, turkey melt, ham melt. Go ahead and get into this. All right, y'all, first things first, I wanna whet my appetite and try this salted caramel creamy chill. That's what got me when I was looking at the skip. I was like, this is what sunk me in. I was like, I just want that in my mouth. Oh man. Oh, yeah, that's really good. guy out on a sea dew actually that's something older than a sea dew that thing's like from the 80s this instantly bangs all right i want to try the strawberry lemonade oh yeah Hot eats and cool treats. Sugar aplenty. So I, for some reason, really wanted chili because I really wanted to like dunk this panini melted cheese melt into the into the chili at some point, but they were out of the uh, out of the chili. So I opted for the ham and 
turkey panini to see who's better. All right. Sesame seed bread. Looks kind of like a rye. I can get into that. That's nice. Would be nice with a little bit of sauce or something like that. A little something to dip in. Or like chili. Turkey. I've had these a few times. I didn't realize until now that they grilled the cheese on the outside as well. I was not privy to that. Hmm. I think I like the ham better. Something about the turkey is Not bad per se, but it's got a uh, flavor that I'm not not really gelling with. I don't know. Strange. Still pretty good though. So yeah, once I had my my uh, halfway through about to make this video tragedy, I all of a sudden started craving watermelon for some reason. Something cold and sweet. And then I almost ran to the grocery store to make a quick video of just making like a, a watermelon, feta, basil, Balsam, balsamic drizzle with like a lemon zest you know sprinkle and just have like a really fresh quick salad and then I decided that I'm kind of running out of daylight and then I decided that I don't want to go back in a grocery store right now and just deal with public so here I am and what kills me the most about my, my screw up is that I had to throw away a $30 steak today. And that's always a bummer. So I'm bummed on it, but I will redeem myself. I just got to go get another new one. Unfortunately, I let it, uh, life was getting the best of me this week. And I thought by the time I got to it, it would still be good to use, but it had gotten stinky and gross and oxidized and like slimy and i just didn't want to present that on video to somebody who has uh hit me in the paypal for a really specific video i want to make it as good as i possibly can so anyways cheesecake donut this is way off the beaten path for me right we never see me eat these things but let's give it a go i think it's gonna be amazing It's custard filled, as you'll see here as I squeeze. That's really good. 
New York cheesecake, I should say. Strawberry with the cream cheese-ish filling. With that crumble. Can't go wrong. Really good. Now is where I wish I got a bottle of water. Cleansing your palate with sweet after eating sweet. It's so, it's just not effective at all. <laughs> okay, so this one is Maple Glaze. He had a pretty limited selection of donuts. It is 8.30 at night, so I understand. Uh, or Maple Dip, I should say, but uh, off the beaten path, but let's try. It's good. I'm not the biggest fan of maple things. Contrary to beliefs about Canadians, I'm not a real maple-y anything kind of guy too often. Perhaps because I grew up with so much exposure to it, I guess. I don't know. But it's never been like a go-to thing for me. This, however, has always been my staple since I was a kid. A chocolate glaze. Just a pillow. So simple in flavor. Just the way that it bites. was good but yeah that video I was making I'm required to drink uh, an entire bottle of red wine as well during it so I might be a little giddy in it I think my plan of attack is to have a glass or two while I'm cooking, while I'm barbecuing. And then finish the rest during the eating of the meal. Because you do have to have a nice red wine when you're having a beautiful steak. It just goes hand in hand. So that should be a good fun video when I don't drop the ball and get it done but uh, the next time I get it I'm just gonna go to my guy get my cut the cut of meat again and make it that day fresh so no slacking but sometimes life happens and we get uh, you know off track distracted pushed around delayed on things like that so uh so yeah i gotta get to that one asap that should be in the next day or two you'll see it hopefully after this video a chill little impromptu just kind of updatey desperate for food timmy's mission we'll conclude that one here and uh yeah that'll be that one so until the next one drunk steak eating potentially Stay hardcore as fuck with your rice burner and eat good, live well, stay true.